Hey guys, I'm Radical Classical, and right now I'm going to show you how to do the basics of playing the guitar. So first of all, what you want to do if you're standing, go ahead and strap it onto yourself. And with your left hand, you're going to want to place your hand in any position, but especially in the back, you want to focus on your thumb being lined up to your middle finger so that way you don't get caught up in grabbing the neck of the guitar like a baseball bat, uh, which will cause a lot of tension in your hand. And also you want to focus the strength and the movement from your shoulder instead of just clutching in with your fist. And as for your right hand, you're going to want to loosely and uh, place it here on, uh, on the strings. And the first thing I'm going to teach you is finger independence for the left hand. So you're going to want to place your fingers on the third string. And with your first finger, you're going to want to go from the fifth string to the second string and just alternate and go back and forth until you build the strength and the coordination to go from one string to the next without buzzing or getting your fingers tangled together. And then you're going to want to keep your first finger in that place with your second finger your ring, your middle finger, go ahead and do the same thing on the same strings, keeping the other three fingers in position, and then move to your ring finger, and then move to your pinky. And this technique applies to any kind of guitar that you play and any style that you play. And eventually, you will be able to play like this.
That's how you do it. At what age did you decide you wanted to be a musician? Um, I was about 14 years old uh, when I started playing, but it was actually when I was about uh, 14 and a half to 15 years old, my family went through a really bad financial crisis. And since I was too young to get a real job, I went ahead and just started getting gigs, and from there it led to uh, playing festivals and arts theaters, and then I started heading out on tour, and it just kind of built into a career from, from 14 till now. What was your first musical instrument and why? My first uh, musical instrument that I picked up was the guitar uh, to play seriously, and I found it in my dad's closet, and it was just uh, an instrument that sat there, and I just decided to pick it up and start playing. How did you start learning? I mean, you, when you said you just picked it up, did you just pick it up and did you just feel like you knew how to play it? Or what did you start with? Well, I first started learning how to play through my dad. Uh, he knew a couple of basic chords and taught me how to play a little bit of Malagueña just with my thumb. And uh, from there, I started taking classical guitar lessons, which led to flamenco guitar lessons, which led to bluegrass, and then uh, some tapping and percussive techniques that I learned in Scotland. And you could be seen all over the world. Yes. Um, I tour all over the world year-round. And uh, right now, you can find my music on RadicalClassical.com or on MySpace.com slash RadicalClassical, as well as Facebook, which is all Radical Classical. Classical music, is it strong right now? Um, classical music has always had its special niche uh, since the beginning, so it's kind of moved in and out of the mainstream over time, and right now it's been such a blessing to bring it back into the mainstream by playing at a lot of metal and hardcore venues as well as some mainstream outlets like the um, Hard Rock Cafe and House of Blues. Do you have a memory that you could share with us, like something that was like most memorable about you playing or meeting somebody or, or you know, in a venue that you were at? Oh, one of my most memorable moments for music was when I was in London about uh, one or two years ago and I got to meet Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden. I got to share the stage with him and it was unbelievable. It was a really fun experience. My advice uh, for children or for anybody that wants to get into the music industry is to educate yourself. Make sure you educate yourself as much as possible and definitely use the internet as a learning tool. There's so many different websites to get on and outlets to learn every angle in the music industry. And also, if you're a musician, practice. Make sure you practice every single day, even if it's 20 minutes to eight hours a day, just practice and just make sure you keep playing. And uh, also be sure to check out organizations like NARM, which is where I attend every year. And that way you can start networking with other musicians or uh, record label owners, distribution companies, um, all walks from the music industry in general. Attend NARM and uh, many other conventions throughout the year. So be sure to check those out. And uh, just keep on keeping on and keep working and do your own thing. Si, si puede.